Hey, this is Chris Hammond with ChrisDoc.com. Welcome back to my DNN video series here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Visual Studio 2019 on Windows 10. Now, prerequisites, I make the assumption you already have Windows 10 installed. So let's go ahead and switch over to my virtual machine here. So this is a fairly fresh install of Windows 10. I've changed the background and uh, installed Google Chrome, my browser of choice. So I'm going to go ahead and load up Google Chrome. What we want to do now is we actually just want to navigate to the Visual Studio downloads page. So you can find that at visualstudio.microsoft.com slash downloads. If you go ahead and navigate there, what you'll find on the page is you have a couple of different options available to you. You can actually install Visual Studio 2019 or we can install Visual Studio Code. Now, I'm recommending that you install Visual Studio 2019 so that you can work with my DNN extension templates. I don't know, I've never actually tried to do anything with code around templates, so uh, I use code, Visual Studio Code just as a text editor. Uh, you can do some editing uh, and code with it as well, uh, but I find it just to be a great, simple, rich text editor. Uh, so getting into the uh, Visual Studio options, you have a community, a professional, and an enterprise edition. Now, everything I do within the DNN ecosystem, I always use the community edition of Visual Studio 2019, or in the past, 2017, and, and prior versions as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the download for that community version. Now, it's going to take a moment to start the download, but you can see that it's actually completed that for us here within Chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the executable that is now downloaded for VS 2019. Now, the install process is going to prompt us to, through Windows, make sure that we want to install this. So I'll go ahead and click on Yes. And then we're going to be provided with some options. Now we'll pause this video as some of the downloads and, and options are going through uh, just so you guys don't have to wait for that entire process. So the install might look a little bit faster than, uh, than you, you will experience on your side. So from here, I've got the uh, privacy statement and terms agreements that we can go ahead and review if you'd like to. For now, I'm going to go ahead and click on continue, and it's going to go through that download process. Now, the 65 uh, megabytes or so, it looks like, of the installer I've now downloaded. It's going to go through, verify that, and run the installation process for the Visual Studio installer. Now, once the Visual Studio installer is complete, then we've got to go through and choose our Visual Studio options. So I'll go ahead and pause the video until that installer completes. All right, looks like the installation for the installer is just about done here, and it's going to come up and provide us some additional prompts. All right, so now that that has completed, it's going to load up the full dialog for the Visual Studio installer. And here we're going to get to choose which packages for Visual Studio, Studio we want to install. And I'll walk you through the packages that I recommend when you're working within Visual Studio 2019 so that you can do your DNN extension development. Now I will also walk you through the package that's required if you want to extend my extension project. So, Okay, so we now have some options that we can go through and choose what we want to install within our payload for Visual Studio 2019. So out of the box, we're gonna choose ASP.NET Web Development. From there, if you want to do any development with the Azure SDKs, you can choose those, Node.js, Python development. We don't need that uh, for DNN, so you can ignore those options if you'd like. If you go ahead, scroll down, you've got some options if you wanna uh, do work within Windows, if you wanna create desktop applications. Scroll down, you can do mobile and gaming if you want to do development with, with Xamarin or uh, some other gaming platforms with Unity. If you go ahead and keep scrolling down, though, I'm going to go ahead and select the Visual Studio Extension Development option. Now, this will allow me to use Visual Studio 2019, even the Community Edition, to extend my DNN development templates, that project. Now, if you just want to use the templates, you don't need to select that option. So from now, I'll go ahead and click on install. You can see it's going to take about 7.8 gigs of a download. So that's going to take a few minutes. I will pause the recording during that process. All right, so it looks like the uh, install is finally nearing completion here. Let's see how long it takes to do the finishing up process. 
I won't make you guys wait for that, but I'll be sitting here ready to unpause the video or unpause the recording once that completes. All right, so the install is complete. Now it's going to load up Visual Studio 2019. So I'll go ahead and let that load and uh, wrap up the video here for today. In the next video, we're going to show you how to install the Visual Studio extension templates for DNN. So if you want to go through and customize or create extensions for the DNN platform, I've got a whole suite of open source templates that you can utilize to do that to get your development up and running quickly. So this is Chris with ChrisStock.com. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe and hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, also add your comments below.